Do you remember this? This is what it looked like after a 16-year-old was arrested after he was clocked driving nearly 100 miles per hour on the interstate. I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. It led to a police chase that ended in a major crash. Now, crime insider John Burkett is learning that vehicle may have been used to help commit a recent murder. John? Well, just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, couldn't, couldn't get any worse, it did. A Domino's delivery driver telling me he had just bought the car, ran inside to pick up a delivery, looked outside and saw his car speeding away. By the time I turned around, just to look back out the window, you know, my car was pulling out of the lot. Delivery driver drama last week in Chester. A pizza guy not willing to show his face on TV after learning his car was used in a violent crime. Call me, I said, we found your vehicle. And I said, that's great. He said, it's totaled. I said, as I kind of expected. And he said, well, it was involved in a homicide. It's like, I was not expecting that. Sussex County deputies got into a short high-speed chase with the car thief early Tuesday morning after it went whizzing through their radar at 95 miles per hour on the interstate. The car flipped twice on the Prince George exit ramp. The driver... 16 years old. Deputies take him into custody and search the car. We found spent, a spent casing round that was been already fired that was in his pocket. Then we found other ammo that was in his pocket. A 9 millimeter rifle recovered from inside the car, a gun the car owner says was not his. It's crazy to think that it was my car that he stole to commit some crazy heinous act. The delivery driver spent his savings buying the car due to COVID and eviction and some other minor obstacles. His life possessions were inside. Clothes, wallet, and phone. Every time you think something just can't get much worse, it gets a lot more worse. <laughs> it's like, you know, you lose the car. It's like, all right, literally, I was having a conversation. I was like, you know, at least, you know, I didn't get hurt or didn't get involved in like a murder or something. A few days later, it's exactly what happens. I'm like, I just can't believe it. And my Crime Insider sources, Bill and Candace, tell me that Petersburg Police, Sussex County deputies, and Virginia State Police are all comparing notes in this case. Working for you tonight in Chesterfield County, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.